Without a doubt, the most impressive of all of the Spring Boot actuator endpoints is the metrics endpoint, which is what I want to show you right here. Now, a quick reminder, anytime you want to use an endpoint, you have to make sure it's enabled. Now, most are enabled by default, but there are some configurations out there where they actually disable everything and you have to explicitly enable it. If that's the case, you just say management.endpoint.metrics.enabled equals true. Now, that enables it that doesn't expose it on Christian. In order to expose it, you have to set the management.endpoints.web.exposure.includes to either include the metrics endpoint, which you can see is on line eight, although line eight is commented out with an octothorpe, or in this case, I've set everything to a wildcard. A reminder, I've set up a dev profile here because I don't want all of this information exposed to the world on Christian. Okay, with that configured and set up, I should be able to just go over into my browser and click on metrics. And this is going to list all of the different metrics that are available to me. And you can see, I mean, this is a couple of page scrolls worth of information here. In this case, I've got everything from configured Tomcat sessions to the CPU count to the JVM thread states. And in order to gain access to any of these, all I have to do is click copy, put a slash at the end of that URL, type in system CPU count, and all of a sudden, there we go. I've got eight CPUs on this system. By the way, I'm actually running this on uh, Intel third generation box, Lenovo box, that I think is about 11 years old. So um, it's a testament to Spring that in a, a machine that old, uh, it still works fairly easily. So there you go. That's the CPU count. Um, let's see what was the process start time. So again, you can just copy that do a slash process time, pretty that up. And there we've got the value 172 million minutes. It basically took the entire length of the universe for this whole thing to start up. Um, clicking on some other values, how much memory is used by the application. That's interesting. I've heard a lot of people complaining that Spring Boot takes a, a lot of memory, but um, it doesn't look like it's taken up that much there. It was a gig of memory there. Well, it's not too bad for an application that's doing a whole lot of interesting stuff. Okay, back over there. What else can we take a look at? Now, the other thing to, to mention, oh, how's the garbage collector doing? Do we have any pauses going on? Stop the world events are not good in the Java virtual machine. So it looks like we've actually had two pauses go on here. Um, interesting, the Java virtual machine, when it does garbage collection, it will just actually cause a, a stop the world event and your whole system will pause. Nothing will happen. The whole system becomes unresponsive. The garbage collection gets cleaned up and then Java will kick up again. <sighs> It's not usually a big deal, but when it happens at 3.59 on a trading day, um, things can get uh, a little wonky. So, okay, and then disk free, right? So we can take a look at the how much space is available on our hard drive and take a look at that. So, you know, that is all pretty impressive and it is all pretty cool. It's just so easy to get all of this information about your environment through the Spring Boot actuator metrics endpoint. Now, the other thing to mention here, all of this is coming back as JSON. So, you know, I'm copy and pasting and pushing that in. But because it comes back as JSON, it is incredibly easy to just create a little application, whether it's JavaScript, React, or Spring MVC, and consume this data and format it in an interesting way. I've seen a lot of people create some interesting dashboards from this actuator, Spring Boot actuator feature. And of course, it's exactly what it's there for, to help you create a window into your own application. Now, the other way that you can create a window into your own application is by actually creating your own actuator, which is so simple. You're not going to believe how simple and easy it is to do. It'll just take me a minute to demonstrate it to you. And that is exactly what I want to do next. So keep watching.